All right, guys. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, we played well enough to win today. Kids did a heck of a job, played their tails off. You know, 60 minute game. You know, last week we finished with the offense on the field. This week, you know, I was hoping to finish with the offense on the field, but the defense was ready to go. Um, had we had to go, and obviously we did, and Jason Peng had a nice play again. Um, you know, interception to end the game. Um, so, you know, just happy for, happy for, you know, really our entire football team. Uh, they just continue to fight and find different ways to win football games, and that's what good teams do. Doesn't matter if we don't get a first down, doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, you know, I think we gave up three points in the second half, um, and I really blame myself. Uh, you know, I, you know it's all, that, that field goal is all on me. Um, you know, we, we, uh, we were in a, in a punt safe to begin with. They took a delay of game, you know, for whatever reason. And, and, you know, I said to myself, I went and put our punt return out there and uh, I shouldn't have done it. I sh you know, I was like, you know, we, I said, they're not going to, you know, delay a game and then fake it, are they, for more yards? And, and uh, I played right into their hands. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted to get our Rangers out there. And so that's that, that three points on me. It's not on the defense. Uh, I'll take that. It's a dumb move. And shoot, if I wanted to waste another timeout, I would have. But I didn't want to waste another timeout. Uh, I thought we'd stop him. I think we had a misalignment on that as well. Um, but we'll clean that stuff up. And, and uh, you know, we haven't given up a fake punt in a long time. So, um, you know, it's just another another thing to clean up. That's why they call us coach. Proud as heck of, uh, you know, Kessman. Um, you know, we got a lot of faith in him. And, and uh, you know, he's three for three today. Um, and again, I, you know, I go back to that's why they call us coach. Uh, to get them right, and, and those are the details that uh, great football teams do. So, questions? Pat, you're getting most of your pressure from your Don, four down linemen. Is that just physical domination, or is it it's a par partially scheme too? Ty, I know the steel curtain is the uh, I know the steel curtain is the Pittsburgh Steelers, but today, and really, I mean, they've been dominant up front. We did get a lot of four man pressure. I don't know if we had you know five or six man sack or not, but the, you know, you know, a lot of coverage sacks, a lot of quarterback tuck in it, and and containing him, you know, near the end, it seemed like he got away a few times. Um, and again, our prayers go out to, you know, to Malik as well. Uh, never like to see a game end like that, with, you know, minute 15 or whatever is on the clock. Um, but it's, it's, you know, it's a little bit of both. I mean, obviously Pat Jones, Rashad Weaver, and and whoever got those sacks, um, you know, I don't have a stat on who got it, but I know Patrick had three. He was upset a week ago. He, he practiced like, you know, like an animal this week and, and uh, did a great job. How much does your defense embrace like the, the one score game and keep coming up with one stop after one stop in the fourth quarter? You know, I don't know how much they embrace it, but they give me chest pains. Uh, you know, again, the two touchdowns they got in the first half, you know, the big long run, you know, we just fit it wrong. Um, and then, you know, they came back and ran it and we had probably a gain of zero or, or one, if that, maybe a TFL, I don't know. We just didn't fit it right. It was something different. And it was really just kind of a read that we had on based on what they were doing. We had a linebacker reading one thing and they, you know, they got us on the one read, and we changed the read, and, and came back and stuffed them. But you know, those are things that happen. As a coach, clearly you know what this defense is capable of, but what they've been able to do through these three games here, how impressive has it really been? It's been really impressive. I mean, Randy Bates, Charlie Partridge, uh, Coach Harley, you know, Coach Sanders, Coach Collins, you know, defense staff done an unbelievable job. You know, it starts during the week, guys. I mean, you win on Saturdays, but it starts with the preparation and putting the kids in position to make plays and. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty simple but complex defense, and, and we give our kids a chance to just turn it loose and play football. And I mean, the, the penetration they had, I mean, they, they, they could run the ball on anybody. I mean, you saw what they did to Miami, a great Miami defense a week ago, and then you look at what they did to a pit defense. It's a little different deal when, uh, when you line up against a pit defense. Pat, you had eight interceptions by a defensive back all last year. You already have five this year doing something differently on that front or was that any kind of focus for you coming into this season? You know, first of all, the guys are making plays, you know, Marquez Williams, we're going to teach him a little ball security. Um, you know, he's trying to point out blockers and stuff. And I'm like, just tuck that ball and run. Would you please? You run a four five, you know, go. We might even run a four four. Um, but, you know, I can't tell you we're doing a whole lot of different. We got, again, just different checks. I mean, we look the same and we, we have different checks that we make coverage wise. I mean, we'll call one coverage and then they got a chance to put themselves in position to make plays. And there's a lot. I mean, it's it, there's a lot more mental out there as far as you know what we do, how we do it, and you know that's the, that's the key to what we do defensively. Our kids know what to do; they're confident in what they're doing. They're putting themselves in good position. And again, the credit goes to Paris Ford and Demar Hamlin. They're those two safeties making those checks and and, uh, and and covering up the receivers to the point where the quarterbacks know got nowhere to go with the ball. 
you, you knew what you had coming into this season with, um, you know, Weaver, Jones, the older players on defense. But how encouraged are you by, you know, Cancy or Servasia Dennis or Mark Quez Williams, some of these more inexperienced guys that seems to be stepping up pretty big for you? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, it's their turn. I mean, you know, you got Damari Mathis, you know, with uh, shorts on in the sideline and, you know, um, was originally a starting quarterback or a cornerback. Um, and, uh, you know, guys got to step up. It's, you know, that's what it's all about. And our kids are making plays and, and they're putting opportunities and have opportunities to make plays. So it's, it's, it's fun to see. Coach, you mentioned the need to clean things up a little bit. Are you all concerned that your wide receiving core has 15.4% drop percentage on catchable passes this season, considering a number of drop passes stall drives out this year? You know, in my opinion, it was maybe one drop pass, you know, DJ Turner on a critical fourth down, down in the red zone in the third quarter, you know, but you know, nobody's perfect. You know, I don't know about your percentages and, um, but you know, receivers are making plays when they need to. I mean, you, you look at some of the catches they did make, um, you know, like, uh, you know, Jordan Addison, when that catch on that sideline on a third down was a critical third down. Um, you know, no, I'm not concerned. It's called win, just win. So no concern there. Just like I'm not concerned if Kessman's going to, you know, miss a couple field goals. Uh, we're not going to be perfect. You know, you guys ain't going to be perfect. And obviously I messed up on the, the punt safe there. I should have stayed punt safe. Um, so we all make mistakes. Is that a Can you say on the, uh, on the touchdown pass? Say it again. Is that a you're muffled, you're muffled up. Who's muffled up there? Can you hear me? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, uh, was that a missed assignment on the touchdown pass? The touchdown pass. Um, you know, I think it was maybe a missed check, if anything. Uh, I, I'm not, you know, we'll, we'll see it on tape. I'm not sure what happened on it, but we kind of knew they were going to go. We call it a chair seven where number one and two run an under route. And they run a seven route with, with two, two. We kind of knew it was coming, and I'm not sure what happened on it, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, give, give, you know, they made a play and we didn't. You know, maybe it was one of those wrong checks. Okay. Last week. Your players uh, at the beginning of the season said, you know, we don't want to be known. I asked Pat Jones specifically, hey, we don't want to be known as just a defensive team. But, I mean, three weeks in with the numbers you guys are putting up, I mean, it, it's kind of hard. Are you okay with uh, being that? Is this what you envisioned in terms of the personality of this defense? The Not just the, the what it's playing, but the way that it's playing? Well, the defense's motto has been unfinished business. So um, I think you win championships with great defense, and and, um, and you can win a lot of games with defense. And, and our offense is going to continue to manage and get better. Um, and again, you know, Louisville's got a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. I know I know Jerry was really, really, really concerned about the speed factor. Obviously, that was not a factor, um, which I knew it wouldn't be. But um, I, you know, I guess I was a little sarcastic last week. But no, I'm not concerned at all. We got a great football team, and. I don't care how we win it. There's going to be a time like North Carolina last year where you know you think you're playing good defense, all of a sudden your your offense bails you out. It doesn't matter. I mean, we scored enough points to win, and that's our goal: score enough to win. Yeah, we didn't see Lucas Kroll or Wendell Davis, a couple other guys out there. Are those some serious injuries, season-ending, or well, they're not. Guys, they're they're not. Kind of yeah, they're not season-ending yet. So we'll just, uh, um, you know, they're not. They're not season-ending yet. So we'll, we'll play it day by day. You're three and zero for the first time since. 2014. Your thoughts on that and just moving forward? You know, we're 1 0 today. You know, what we did last week and the week before really doesn't matter. Uh, all focus goes to, to North Carolina State and trying to be 1 0 this week. But, uh, you know, we just try to keep it one at a time. You never start to look ahead where, you know, where we're going. I'm just proud of this football team making plays. You know, our punt team was much better. Major focus on our punt team. We had some, you know, some great punts by, you know, Kirk and, uh, you know, guys just making plays and, you know, just cleaning up things. Pat, it was uh, it was Kaiser Mack's first game back, and he made a huge play sticking with it after they tried to bring him down. Uh, what can you say just about his first day back and your excitement seeing your senior back out there? He had a great, you know, he had a couple great catches, uh, some you know, some crucial third down catches, and that was a big fourth down catch, obviously. And and uh, you know, we talk all the time about finishing, and he finished. And uh, it's great to have him back. He's a big time playmaker. Uh, you know, I mean, coming out of last season, as you guys know that Eastern Michigan game. Um, you know, he's a, he's a go-to guy, and I'm happy for Taysir. Did your running back running game make strides today, Pat? The running game, you said? Yes. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we, you know, it seemed like the, the first time we'd run it, like whether it was a first and 10 or a second down, you know, we ran it. You know, Vince had 68 yards. I don't know how many yards we rushed for. You know, 156 yards. Yeah, I mean, you rushed for 150. Uh, it's a good day. So, Izzy got involved, you know, and he had uh, 42 yards. I mean, it ran hard. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously impressed with that. We've been able to run the ball and mix it up, and not just be a passing team. So that's been critical.
Pat, how do you assess Kenny's performance? It seemed like in the first half he made some pretty good throws on third down there and didn't do as much in the second half, but how do you kind of assess it overall? You know, we'll watch the tape. You know, he, he threw enough completions, made enough plays to uh, win a football game. So uh, I'm sure it's never as clean as you want it to be. Uh, you know, I know he, you know, he kicks himself in the butt for the pick in the second half. Uh, end of that third quarter when we're approaching the red zone, we still got to be better in the red zone. We'll continue to work on the red zone. You know, we work in the red zone on, on Tuesday. We work in the red zone on third, or excuse me, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have periods in the red zone against each other, and we just got to continue to uh, to make strides down there in the red zone. Final question before we get to our players. What can you say about uh, Jordan Addison and what you saw from him today? He had the big catch on third down to keep that drive alive. You know, again, seven catches again. It's like he's averaging seven, you know, seven catches a, a game. It seems like uh, he's a he's a guy that you can trust. He catches just about everything. Um, you know, I can't say enough about you know the play he's made as a as a young guy that just steps in and makes big plays.